don't even want to think about the kind of creepy crawlies that are in here. The Traveler? Over here! I can't go in the... You have no idea how long I've waited for someone like you to come by. There isn't much time. Terranora went in there, by herself. She's been gone a long time. Something terrible must have happened to her. My wife. We came to this star-cursed firepot cave to gather Vokesh Scoria. Given that we're looking for dangerous creatures, I suggested we hire someone to protect us. But no, she darted in there while I was planning how we'd search the cave. Molten rock, cooled to a crust outside the Vokesh's bodies. Terranori and I were hired to retrieve it, but the gold we were offered means nothing if Terranori dies. Traveler, I am willing to pay you hefty sums to ensure my wife's safety. Here, one of the locals marked where some lava vents are in the fire pot. We should look for the Scoria there. Finding the Scoria will help convince Terranoi to leave the fire pot. I want her out of danger before I talk some sense into her. A sailor in Gonfalon Bay described them as creatures of molten rock. She said Volkesh shed the outside layer of rock like a snake. There's bound to be piles of scoria lying around for us to take, but Terranoi went in on her own. Oh, some locals said they'd seen the Volkesh emerging from some lava vents. The vents can scrape at the Volkesh's outer layers, help pry the scoria off. There are places on top of this mountain where you can look down into the fire pot. Hunters usually stay clear of these windows. But a few brave ones helped us prepare for this foray into the cave. Now it's up to us to get the Scoria. It's even hotter in here than I imagined. We should hurry to find the Scoria and Terranore before it's too late. Terranore anywhere, but those are some of the Scoria. Do you think they're cool enough to have? Mm, these are good quality. Terranore will have to see them. Terranore, we need to find her. No sign of Terra Norway. Slack, where is she? Find that Terra Norway. Who are you? We haven't heard her at all.
leaving while you're still in one piece. Wait. See that large vent? We're not leaving without the scoria around it. I've seen souls less stubborn than you. Traveler, talk some sense into this idiot before I do something I'll regret. If I knew someone like you would actually pass our way, I might have reconsidered coming here alone, eh? Then again, maybe not. Our life isn't what I promised, Vinosare. I'm going to change that, no matter the danger. I was resting on that outcropping out there when the rock fell out from under me. Vinosare will probably drag me to a healer. She's not going to stop talking about how she knew this cave was dangerous. It's really annoying when she's right. I am not. Uh, there may be a chance that Vinosare is right. But our life together hinges on this job. The uh, lack of coins in our purses is already damaging our marriage. Please, say you'll get those scoria. Thank you. Vinosare trusts you. I'm putting the hopes of our happiness in your hands. With any luck, the only thing I'm going to regret today is falling off that rock. Come on, let's get you out of here before you manage to get more burnt. Traveler, you don't appear to be much worse off for going into the fire pond. And that makes two of us. Well then, here we all are. Somewhat home, marginally hale, but decidedly alive. Do you have the scoria? I don't know how to properly thank you. Paranoia is alive because of you, and we have more scoria than our client wants. Take this. It's all I can spare now that Terranoi is injured. Take care. This archipelago is dangerous. My wife and I witnessed that for ourselves. Terranoi's wounds need tending to, and I could use something to calm me down. After that, someone needs to sort the scoria, set up camp, and gather our provisions for the night. She'll live, but healing takes time. Who knows how long we'll stay here. I plan on getting a ship back to Somerset as soon as possible. This archipelago is beautiful, but nothing compares to the Shining Isle. He'll have to. 
No one else is desperate enough to come here and collect Vokesh Scoria. Besides, our health matters more than his good opinion of us. We'll wait for Terranoi to recover before we head out. Terranoi, what were you thinking? Thanks to you, you we can satisfy our client and still have goods to spare. We can find new clients, grow our network, take more jobs, set ourselves up for a lifetime of prosperity and adventure. Ow. It's been my plan ever since I met Vinasare. But the jobs we took never worked in its favor. There weren't enough goods to expand our clientele. All the rich artisans already had their own sources of rare materials. It won't be lumps of volcanic rock that do it. Those will just help expand our client list and make us some gold quickly. No, the boost this gives our reputation will change their minds. Whenever they want a rare material, they'll think of us. I'll tell her once she's calmed down. Vinasari's a lot better at finding clients than I am. We're a team. She figures out how to get jobs, and I make sure we complete them. She doesn't like my methods, especially now, but it's worth the risk.